Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video I'm going to do a kind of random favourites. The majority of the stuff is beauty, um, but there are quite a few other random ones that I don't feel like I've ever really mentioned in a favourites video before. There are quite a few things, so I'm going to get straight into it. So to start off with, you may have noticed that I have dyed my hair. I did it last night, it was a really spontaneous thing. It is quite purple. I have never dyed my hair an unnatural colour before, so to go purple was a big thing for me but I'm gonna start off with it because I absolutely love it and I kept the box so I could mention it in this video so I use the um, L'Oreal casting creme gloss in number 316 plum I love the color and it is such a good match to the box because um, it's quite difficult to know what it's really gonna look like on you but on the back it sort of says like before dark brown darkest brown black and what they sort of look like after which I think is really good I think it was about £6, it was sort of 6 to £7. If you're looking for a purpley tone, I was going to go down the red route, but I'm so glad I went down the purple for me. If you're looking for a good one, then this is a really good one, and they tend to be on offer as well quite a lot. Um, so yeah, that is that. So my next favourite is from Avon, and it is the Advanced Technique Styling Hold Firm Hold Hairspray. I don't know why I'm tapping it. Um, this stuff is so good it is so cheap and it smells so nice it smells like perfumed it just it smells really nice i don't want it to go on my lens you spray it in your hair and it's like still really soft but holds the curls but it's still really soft like it doesn't feel like you have hairspray in your hair but you know your hair is going to hold i really like this it's really cheap it smells lovely like i just said avon always have offers on so if you're looking for a hairspray um, that doesn't go crispy and I've, I've actually got loads in here left as well and I've used it quite a lot. Uh, brilliant when it's windy, <laughs> really really good. Next onto my shower essentials, I got these the other day, this is from Soap and Glory. I've used this before which is the Sugar Crush Body Scrub, it smells amazing and it's such a huge tub. Oh, it smells so good, it's like limey and citrusy and what else is in there? brown sugar, sweet lime, almond oil, macadamia grains. Oh, so good. And this was £8, I'm pretty sure. And then I also got this, which is the same scent, the Sugar Crush, um, but it's a body wash and it's so big and I've always really wanted to try these, but every time I've been to Boots, I've just kind of forgot that they have them, if that makes sense. Like I just go and pick up the foam burst, the shower wash that I normally use. Um, so I kind of forget that this product exists but I've wanted to try it for such a long time and I used it for the first time yesterday holy moly it's so good again it smells exactly like the other one the £6.50 free for two and all like the body lotions and potions and stuff um, from Second Glory so I picked up another one of these because I thought I'm going to go through this more than I'm going to go through this um, but I don't know if I'm going to keep it or give it to someone as a present I don't really know um, but I love this but it kind of comes out like a bit of a not a milk but you expect a lot to be pumped out at a time, but not a lot comes out, um, which I think is a good thing because you're not going to waste the product, but there's 500 mil in here, so it's going to last you a really, really long time. So the next product is the Visibly Clear Pink Grapefruit Daily Scrub by Neutrogena. I was in Superdrug a few days ago with my cousin, and we walked past this, and I looked at it, and I normally have the green one of this, don't know what it's called, um, but I looked at this and as I walked past I was like pink grapefruit we both kind of didn't know how we felt about it a couple of days after I was in Asda and it was on offer I think it was two pound I'm pretty sure it was two pound in Asda because I ran out of the green one that I normally use um, and I didn't have another scrub to use so I thought well I'll try this one and see what it's like it just smells like a spa it has that treatment room smell. I've been using that and I've really been enjoying it. Next is on to makeup, of course. So starting off is a brush. Obviously it's dirty because I use it. This is by Zoeva. It's the 102 Silk Finish Brush. I got this with the rose gold set. I kind of just put it to one side because I didn't really, I didn't really want to use it. I had my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush at the time. That's really what it's called then. One day I just gave it a go and I absolutely love it. It is so good, like I cannot explain how good this brush is. And they do do this brush in like the normal packaging without the rose gold. Such a lovely brush. It does get dirty quite quickly and you do have to wash it quite often because um, the product does tend to sit quite deep 
uh, within the actual bristles itself but I really really like it it just makes your foundation go on really nicely this is like a lifesaver it does all the work for you I think it's £11 but I've put one on my Christmas list because I just absolutely love it if you're in the UK you can buy um, Zoeva brushes off beautybay.com it makes life so easy I love it love it next is an all time favourite of mine and it is the Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick. This is in Rose. Yes, I absolutely am obsessed with using this. I've used this a lot and you honestly would not be able to tell. I know that this is going to last a very long time. I think this is maybe £33. When I say £33, definitely in the 30s, um, but I love it. It could be 36 I'll link everything below as always though. Next is a lipstick that I am wearing right now. I've loved this lipstick and I've had it for such a long time. I got it online and it was really, really cheap. It's a Calvin Klein lipstick in the shade Henna. Um, you can see like, oh, I've chipped it. How has that happened? You can see how much I have used. I love wearing it with a darker lip liner underneath and then just going over the top in the middle um, with this colour. It's just a really nice colour and I'm wearing it. Um, now so that is that next up is this really tiny um, sample from Chanel Chanel counters can be really generous with giving samples I've had quite a few from Chanel especially if you live in Birmingham the big boots that's in Birmingham kind of like Dale End around there the big boots that's in Birmingham um, if you go to that Chanel counter the girls on there are always really really lovely yeah I'm pretty sure that if you would ask they would give you a sample but because I bought some stuff from Chanel she gave me a few little products which I thought was really cute and um, but this is the um, Chanel eye makeup remover the full size of this is £22 which is quite expensive when you think it's an eye makeup remover but for a Chanel product it's really affordable if that makes any sense this stuff is honestly incredible I mean you can probably see how much I've used hopefully and I've put the full size on my Christmas list if I don't get it for Christmas then I'm gonna buy it anyway this is perfume now this perfume i have eyed up for a long time it's olympia and it is by paco raban i've used a lot and i've had it a week so number one the bottle is amazing this is the 50 ml number two it smells even better <laughs> like i mentioned earlier i was in superdrug with my cousin and it was actually the sunday after black friday so they still had all like the offers and deals and stuff from black friday on and i was actually looking at the paco raban lady million is it one million i can't remember which one it was one of those and i was really eyeing up this one because it had a really good discount it's a perfume that i really liked anyway and i needed to buy new perfume basically so i was really eyeing it up then i noticed this one sitting on the shelf so i said to my cousin I was like oh my god you need to smell it it's amazing and the 30 ml bottle was 39 pound i want to say I think it was £39 for a 30ml bottle. And out of the corner of my eye, I noticed a gift set, um, which comes with a, I don't even know because I haven't even used it, is it a body lotion? Yeah, body lotion, which I'm not really a fan of perfumed body lotions. I noticed this, and this was supposed to be, with the 50ml bottle, it was £53, however it was 20% off, so if my calculations are correct, it made it £42, £43 yeah is that right something like that um which wasn't that much more expensive than the 30 ml bottle yeah and you get 50 ml so i was like yeah i'll have that please um so i bought this i'm so happy that i got it that's quite a good lasting pair as well next is on to my kind of more random favorites so starting off is this headband this is one of the like woolly headbands i bought two of these these are from asda uh, they're six pound each a black one and a cream one and I just absolutely I'll try and put it on now I haven't actually wore it since I've had purple hair I've just got to sort my fringe out because that gets annoying but I love it it is so comfortable and cozy and I have quite a big head and I tried it on in Asda I was like <laughs> the more I've worn it, um, it's kind of stretched it out. Um, but I really, really like it, especially for this time of the year. And I'm going away for Christmas this year. I really like it. And like I said, I bought a cream one as well. To centre parts of Christmas, we tend to go 
um, most years so what to expect there and you're out most days to be honest so um, yeah just thought it would be really nice for actually like around Christmas and on Christmas day to wear if we're outside walking or something like that because that's what you tend to do at Sendbox um, so yeah I bought two of these for that and I also bought it because I went to Winter Wonderland the other day in Hyde Park and silly me left it in the car didn't I of course I did of course I did also from Asda I picked up these slippers I love them these are so comfortable my old slippers I think I got them from Asda as well and I've had them probably like three years and they've just gone really flat so I needed some new ones they're so warm and cozy these were six pound which I think is an absolute bargain for like nice looking slippers and they've got like the furry bit inside which is really nice and they've got like a little bit of like a padded bottom really comfortable to walk on and so I'm just gonna pop them back on now they're warm and toasty and then I have a bag this is from H&M I had a lot of similar ones I bought this when I went to Winter Wonderland because I don't know why this happens to me but it happens to me more or less every single time I'm in central London my handbag broke it ripped like one handle off so I couldn't even carry it like that so I was starting to panic and I was having to carry it under my arm like walking around Oxford Street like this so I went into Topshop first and they had loads of handbags but they were so expensive there was one I really liked but it was £47 and honestly I thought £47 in Topshop no um, then I went into H&M and they had a lot of other bags that were very similar to this one but I liked this one the most because it has like the croc skin effect I just really liked the texture of it it's huge you can see there's just probably like a load of rubbish in the bottom of my handbag. At the time I really didn't want to buy a handbag that was huge, but I needed something that was big enough to fit my other handbag in at the time because I didn't really want to be emptying one handbag on the street. That wouldn't have been clever. And the last thing is albums. I got both of these in Tesco, they were £10 each. Um, so the first one I got is Adele 25, obviously because I love her, absolutely love it. I'm the sort of person that when I listen to an album, I'll probably only listen to like the songs that I've heard of before, and I've only heard of three of these songs before. They were the sort of ones that I listened to, but I had a long journey to do, and I listened to the whole album about three times in a row. It's just an amazing, amazing album. My favourite songs, just because I just want to tell you, are obviously Hello, When We Were Young, and all I ask. Number 10, listen to number 10. If you've got Adele's album, number 10 is the one. It's amazing, amazing album. Well done Adele if you ever watch this, <laughs> imagine. And obviously I only went and got the Beaver, didn't I? I'm not a fan of him, but he's got some good tunes. I mean, I've probably listened to this album maybe once or twice. I love this album. To be fair though, I have only really listened to the first like six songs. Yeah, I love this album. Who'd have thought we'd all be believers by the end of 2015? <laughs> That's everything that I am currently loving slash slightly obsessed with at this moment in time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you did. All of my links are in the description box below as always. Make sure you are subscribed for more videos and I will see you very soon for another video.